before starting this i would like to explain these concept first so a complete binary tree so you people all know about the definition of the complete binary tree so it is a binary tree in which every level means except the last level is completely filled and uh, uh, all the nodes are as far left as possible so if this kind of structure is there then it is a complete binary tree so basically this concept will be used in the uh, heap so we are having two types of uh, heap first one is the max heap another one is the min heap so we'll use here max heap concept in this implementation of or analysis of the heap so so let's take a look at some more concepts like height of a node so the num uh, the height of node can be like this is a node and its height will be uh, a number of edges on the longest simple path from node down to the leaf node means if we simply move towards the leaf node and select the longest branch then the number of edges which uh, occurs in during this then that total number of edges will be the height of the height of the particular node so like the four the height of the node will be this is the longest branch so 1 2 3 or 1 2 3 we are having two longest branches so the height of the root will be 1 2 3 okay so it is the number of edges on the larger simple path from the node down to the leaf now levels of the node so starting from the uh, basically root node so uh, we can say the levels for any node is the length of the path from the root to the node so uh, this is the node it is the root node its uh, level will be length from the root node and it is itself is the root node so its uh, level will be zero so its level will be zero its length from the root node is one so this level will be one its length from root node is two so this level will be two its length from root node is uh, three like this so it is the level number three okay now what about the height of the tree so height of the tree is the height of the root node So you people have already uh, studied this concept when people uh, were studying the concept of the AVL tree, because in the AVL tree, every time we need to find out the balance factor. So the balance factor of a particular node is the height of the left subtree minus height of the right subtree, like this. Okay, so this is the height of a node, level of a node, under the height of the tree. Now, just some of other useful properties like. Uh, they will be uh, at most to respect of l nodes at level l or the depth l of the binary tree so basically uh, uh, when we were discussing about the recursion tree then we have calculated the total number of nodes and it is a binary tree so every node in this tree will have uh, maximum two nodes okay so if uh, we are talking about the maximum node at any level that will be 2 raised to power i i i is the level number if like suppose the level number is here 0 in the case of 4 the so total nodes will be 2 raised to power 0 in this level 2 raised to power 1 in this level 2 raised to power 2 so this is the maximum number of nodes at any level or the depth okay so a binary tree with a height d and has uh, at most to reach to power d plus 1 minus 1 node so this these will be the total number of nodes of uh, a tree with the height d on the height theek okay? hai so it can be the total number of node will be less than equal ab hum kya karenge har ek level pe kitne nodes aa rahe hain 2 raised to power 1 2 raised to power sorry 0 2 raised to power 1 2 raised to power 2 raised to power 2 and at the highest level to reach to power i so what we can do we can do the summation so we can do summation the iska height kitna hai it is suppose it is d or the basically it is log n okay jo humne calculation pehle ki bhi hai so a binary tree with n nodes has height at least log of n so l equal 0 to d to reach to power l this will be the total number of nodes so these can be the total number of nodes can be less than or equal to this maximum this or less than so it is a geometric series then we can find out the 2 to the power d plus 1 minus 1 okay so a binary tree with n nodes has height at least log of n now let's talk about the heap data structure 
so we will use this heap data structure for in the for sorting a number of list okay so heap is a nearly complete binary tree what is this it is a nearly complete binary tree with the following two properties so every heap must satisfy these two properties first one is the structural property other one is the order or heap property okay so structural property is this all the labels are full except possibly the last one which is filled from left to right this is a complete binary tree mein hota sare labels fill honge except the last one ye bhi fill ho sakta hai theek hai and uh, if we simply try to fill this or uh, insert a new node then it will be added from left to right like uh, these all are filled so this label is empty so we will insert a new node here then a new node here this is the structural property and the second one is the order property the order property is nothing but we are having two types of heap one is the max heap another one is the min heap so in the case of max heap the property is this every node value will be greater than or equal to its child node for every node of the tree the value of that particular node will be greater than or equal to its child node that will be the max heap it means the root node will have the maximum value okay or the largest value will be at the root node now in the case of main heap every node will have its value less than or equal to this child node the, this is an example of the max heap okay and suppose is the reverse karte hain like 2 uh, and it is 4 it is 5 it is 7 it is 8 so now this is a main heap so the smallest element will be at the top in the main heap okay so this is the min heap or the max heap basically so these are the uh, this is the thing it is for the max heap so we will use only the concept of the max heap in the heap sort so in the case of max heap parent of x means the value or the value of the parent will be greater than or equal to a child node okay so from the heap property it follows that the root is the maximum element in the heap in the case of max heap okay so this concept is about the representation of the heap in the memory like uh, it is some kind of representation of the binary tree also okay so root of tree is a of 1 suppose it is the root it is a of 1 now if you want to find out the left value of the left child or right child so jaise uh kya bolte hain एक नॉर्मल हम एक ट्री का इम्प्लीमेंटेशन करते हैं बाइनरी ट्री का इंटू मेमोरी दैन दीज आर दम ऑफ द फॉर्मूलाज फॉर दैट लेफ्ट चाइल्ड ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर नोड ए ऑफ आई सपोज द नोड इज आई देन लेफ्ट चाइल्ड विल बी टू आई एंड राइट चाइल्ड विल बी टू आई प्लस वन बीस बेसिकली दीज आर द लोकेशन द रूट और द पेरेंट इज एट द लोकेशन आई मीन दिस इंडेक्स वैल्यू दैन इट्स लेफ्ट चाइल्ड विल बी एट टू आई एंड राइट चाइल्ड विल बी टू आई प्लस वन ओके so this is the left child it is the right child of a particular uh, nodes value which is at the level uh, or it is at the location i not at the location not level okay now what about the parent node so if we are given a value at location i then what will be the parent node the so parent node will be it is here the floor function here it will be i by 2 Like uh, just say, now um, we can find out the child node of this one. So left child will be two i two one, or it will two i plus one two into one plus one. That is three. For this one, left child two into i two into two four, or this case will be two into two four plus one five. Now parent node ki baat karein to parent node suppose it is i. So its parent node will be ten by five. Its parent node will be nine by two, that is four point five. So it is the floor function here. So will nine point five will be nine. So basically, we uh, we are just we simply uh, convert that into the and we consider the only integer part. So nine by two will be four point five, then the parent will be four. Seven by two will be three point five, the parent will be three. Six by three, three. Five by two, two point five, that is two. So these are the parent node. Now the heap size of the uh, particular uh, a heap can will be less than equal to the length of it so this is this is these are nothing but the number of elements in the particular heap that is the heap size so it will be equal to or less than to the size of the array okay now it is one more important thing that will be used when simply we restore the properties of the heap that is the elements in the sub array 
from this location to this location means location n by 2 plus 1 to n are the leaves so it it is a heap then uh, in this the elements in this uh, from the location a of n plus 2 plus 1 to n will be the leaves you can see here uh, just say suppose the number of elements are 10 just yahan par hain so it will be at 10 by 2 plus 1 that is 6 so from 6 to uh, 10 these will be leaves a6 to a10 so it is a6 a7 a8 a9 a10 okay so these are the leaves value suppose the value of this means mai or element insert kar deta hu it is at 11 it is at uh, 12 theek hai to अब हमारे पास कितने एलिमेंट्स हो गए हमारे पास हो गए ट्वेल्व एलिमेंट तो ट्वेल्व बाई टू दैट इज सिक्स प्लस वन दैट इज सेवन सो ए सेवन टू ए टेन सो दिस इज द ए सेवन तो ए सेवन ए एट ए नाइन ए टेन दिस विल बी द लीव ओके सो द एलिमेंट इन द सब एरे एट द लोकेशन ए एन बाय टू प्लस वन दैट इज द फ्लोर फंक्शन फ्लोर ऑफ ए एन फ्लोर ऑफ नोट ए फ्लोर ऑफ एन बाय टू प्लस वन टू एन विल बी द लीव नोट सो when we will simply restore the properties of the heap restore as the restoration ka meaning kya hai i will clear the next slide then this concept will be utilized over there okay okay so these are the two types of the heap max heap or the min heap ye main bata chuka hu pehle hi the max heap here the value of every node will be greater than or equal to its child node or in the case of min heap the value of any node will be less than or equal to its per uh, child node so max heap mein kya hoga the largest element will be at the root and then in case of min heap the smallest element will be at the root okay this is a of parent i greater than equal a of i where a of parent i less than equal a of i now if we want to delete or add a node in a heap then new nodes are always inserted at the bottom jaise ye mera pa scenario hai aur mujhe usme nayi value add karni hai to wo kahan pe aayegi yahan tak fail hai is level tak mean next node will come here then it 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 will come here new node then it will come here like this so we will create the node or fill the heap from left to right only left to right order जब तक प्रीवियस ऑर्डर प्रीवियस लेवल पूरे तरह फुल नहीं होगा तब तक नेक्स्ट लेवल पे नहीं जाएंगे और जो फिलिंग होगी दैट विल बी फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट एंड द सेम वे नोड्स आर रिमूव फ्रॉम द बॉटम लेवल राइट टू लेफ्ट जैसे दिस इज द लास्ट वन सो दिस विल बी रिमूव दिस इज दैन दिस इज द लास्ट वन दैट इट विल बी रिमूव ओके और दीज आर द ऑपरेशंस व्हिच कैन बी परफॉर्मड ऑन द हीप्स फर्स्ट वन इज द मेंटेन रीस्टोर द मैक्सी प्रॉपर्टी then we will use this max if you have procedure or the operation next one is the create a max if from an unordered array it is the build max if next one is the uh, sort an array in place that is the heap sort so we will apply these three procedure just say suppose if we have inserted any element in the heap and uh, it is just violating the max if property then we will apply this procedure max if you have means by applying this we simply restore the properties of the heap create a max if from an unordered array agar hamare paas ek list hai and we want to create uh, a max if with, uh, then we will use this procedure build max if and this build max if procedure will utilize this max if if procedure and its operation okay this is the third one it is a heap sort so basically it will uh, sort a list of numbers in the increasing order so we will use the max uh, this build max if means usko use karke pehle hum heap create karenge jab heap mein property violation hoga to max if if utilize hoga theek hai aur the rules will be like uh, for the heap sort jab pura max if create ho jayega then kya karenge we will uh, jaise ye is tarah se hamare paas max if create ho gaya so we will remove the top most element to so ye kya hoga it will be the largest in case of max if so we will have a list then what we will do we simply delete it from here and place it at the last position aur isko delete karenge to isko replace kaise karenge we will replace it the last element at the last level so suppose ye scenario hai to this will be the last element ye yahan se hat jayega ye yahan pe aa jayega to jaise yahan pe aayega to obviously baat hai max if ki property violate hongi 
तो क्या करेंगे वी विल अप्लाई द मैक्स सिंपलीफाई प्रोसीजर देयर द प्रोसेस विल गोज ऑन जब तक हमारा पूरा मतलब सारे एलिमेंट्स शॉर्ट नहीं जाते या लास्ट एलिमेंट एक ही एलिमेंट नहीं बचता मैक्स सो दैट सिंगल एलिमेंट विल बी देयर देन दैट विल बी प्लेस्ड एट द फर्स्ट पोजीशन इन द शॉर्टेड लिस्ट तो दिस इज अ कांसेप्ट ऑफ द प्रायोरिटी क्यू विल आल्सो सी लाइक हाउ वी कैन यूज द हाउ कैन वी इंप्लीमेंट द प्रायोरिटी क्यू यूजिंग द मैक्स सी फॉर द मिनट now maintaining the property of the heap so suppose a node is smaller than a child node you can see here this node is smaller than a child node its value is 4 it is 14 it is 7 or and uh, another another assumption is this like ye property yahan violate ho rahi hai but iske left to right mein jo nodes hain ye max heap hai yahan property violation nahi hai theek hai so left and right subtree of i are max heap so ab ye property violation ho raha hai to kya karenge we will find out the largest sub child this node ka jo largest child hai we will find out that so out of 14 and 7 this is the largest one so we will swap these both 4 will come here and 14 will come here okay so after this 14 will be here and 4 will be here now again jaise ka ko yahan to property restore ho gayi is level pe yahan property violation hai so largest one is 8 so 4 8 will come here and 4 will come here okay so in this way we simply uh, maintain the heap property so to eliminate the violation exchange with larger child move down the tree and continue until node is not smaller than the children means the properties of the heaps uh, are restored like this in this way we can simply maintain the max heap property okay now this is an example for maintaining the max heap property so this is the max heap file procedure and i will explain you what is the algorithm and complexity analysis of this max heap file in the next slide so suppose that uh, property violation is uh, at this location array location like at 2 so we will call this max heap file procedure like this is the array property violation at 2 and these are the this is the size of the heap or the total number of elements in the heap to yahan par property violation hai jaise previous example mein dekha tha humne 80 violate the heap property net what will be done we simply find out the largest child of this a2 and replace with them so a2 will be replaced by a4 so we will have this situation now you can see here the a4 is violating the heap property so it will be replaced with the largest child that is the 8 here so a4 will be replaced by a9 or the value 8 so we will have this kind of scenario now not uh, at any node the heap property violation is there okay so in this way the heap property is restored so it, uh, in this we will use this max heap file procedure now the, the this is the algorithm for max heap file procedure so here we will have two assumption first of all the left and right subtree of i are max heap first thing is this uh, what is the i i is the that particular location where the uh, heap uh, max heap properties are violated so we assume karke chalenge uske left aur right mein jo subtree hain wo max heap hai wahan koi property violation nahi jaise ye hai i to uska left mein max heap hai right mein max heap hai another thing is this ai may be smaller than a children node to ye to hoga hi hoga jab hi aap pe hamare max heap property violate honge so jaisa abhi humne kya kiya tha jahan par property violation ho raha hai will call the, the max heap file for that so two pe ho raha hai to will call it for suppose it is i so will call it for ai and it is the n size of the heap so max heap file ai comma n so ab now this is the procedure uh we will uh, take the value location find out the location of uh, the left child of that node i right child of that node right so it will be 2i it will be 2i plus 1 after this ab hum ye check karenge ki wo jo child node hai wo less than equal n hona chahiye iski value aisa nahi ki hum reduce karte jaye aur aage badhte jaye to hame karna kab tak hai till we reach the uh, last node or the leave node so if l less than equal n then a of l greater than a of i uh, sorry and a of l greater than a of y means kya hai ki uske child node ki value us node se zyada honi chahiye aur yahan hum kiske liye check kar rahe hain to basic operation kya ho raha hai ye this one and this one we are having this node what we are doing this is the i 
this is the l this is the r so we are just checking the value of the i is the largest one or the value of the l is the largest one or the value or the, the r is the largest in mein se jo largest hai suppose ye largest hai to kuch hoga hi nahi property restore ho gayi suppose uh, ye largest hai in teenon mein to ye isse swap ho jayega suppose ye largest hai to ye isse swap ho jayega to yahan pe kya ho raha hai sabse pehle इस आई की वैल्यू को उसके लेफ्ट साइड से कंपेयर कर रहे हैं कंपेयरिंग ए ऑफ एल ग्रेटर देन ए ऑफ आई इफ सपोज इट इज द लार्जेस्ट वन द लार्जेस्ट विल बी एल अदरवाइज लार्जेस्ट विल बी आई अब हमको ये उस तरह से ऑपरेशन है लाइक वी आर गिवन थ्री नंबर्स एंड वी वांट टू फाइंड आउट द लार्जेस्ट वन नाउ वी विल कंपेयर द लार्जेस्ट वन विद द लास्ट एलिमेंट दैट इज द राइट साइड सो ए ऑफ आर इज ग्रेटर देन ए ऑफ लार्जेस्ट देन लार्जेस्ट विल बी ए ऑफ आर अगर ऐसा है अदरवाइज लार्जेस्ट क्या होगा जो यहाँ आपको रिजल्ट मिला था वही होगा Now here we will check if largest not equal to i. अगर largest i है तो फिर इसको execute करने का मतलब ही नहीं है means property restored है but अगर largest i नहीं है means यहाँ पर property violation नहीं है तो इसकी जरूरत नहीं है property violation है then what we will do simply exchange a of i with the a of largest. ठीक है एंड सिंपली कॉल द मैप मैक्स सिंप्लीफाई प्रोसीजर अगेन क्योंकि जब यहाँ प्रॉपर्टी रिस्ट जैसे हमने क्या किया फोर्टीन इज हियर एंड फोर इज हियर तो यहाँ तो प्रॉपर्टी रिस्टोर हो गई नाउ विल रिस्टोर द प्रॉपर्टी एट द नेक्स्ट प्लेस सो दिस इज द मैक्स इपीफाई प्रोसीजर दैट इज यूज टू रिस्टोर द प्रॉपर्टी नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी एनालिसिस ऑफ दिस मैक्स इपीफाई प्रोसीजर सो इट रेस एज अ पाथ फ्रॉम द रूट टू द लीफ ये क्या करेगा जैसे यहाँ पर है सपोज ये रूट है और यहाँ प्रॉपर्टी वायलेशन हो रहा है सो इट रेस अ पाथ फ्रॉम रूट टू द लीव इन द वर्स्ट केस सपोज इसकी जो वैल्यू है सबसे कम है तो यहाँ से यहाँ स्वैपिंग हुई फिर यहाँ से यहाँ स्वैपिंग हुई सब और भी है तो वहाँ से वहाँ स्वैपिंग हुई ऐसे सो इट विल ट्रेस द अ पाथ फ्रॉम द रूट टू लीव दैट इज लॉन्गेस्ट पाथ ऑफ द लैंड फैच तो एट ईच लेवल इट मेक एग्जैक्टली टू कंपेरिजन हर एक बार क्या कंपेरिजन होंगे इसका कंपेरिजन लेफ्ट से होगा कंपेरिजन राइट से होगा ठीक है सो एट ईच लेवल इट विल हैव Uh, exactly two comparison. So total number of comparison will be two h. The height is ki h ho gayi. Har level pe do do comparison ho rahe hain. Kitni baar ho rahe hain? H time ho rahe hain. To total kitne comparison hue? Two h comparisons ho gaye. And what is the value of f? H it is log n. So the running time for the max EP5 procedure will be O of h or O of log n. So we can write in this form also. Okay. So the running time of max EP5 is O of log n. and it can be written in terms of the height of the tree also like o of h because the height of the tree is log of n okay so this is the running time requirement for the max hp5 procedure so abhi humne kya kiya hai basically we have just checked if there is a property violation or the max hp property violation aur uh, ek jo property hai ordering property order property violation hoga then we will simply call this max hp5 procedure okay now oh. Uh, we'll discuss about the building a heap, and we'll see how this max EP5 procedure will be utilized over there. So we want to build a heap. So simply convert an array a1 to n into a max heap. This call size kya ho jayega n. Okay. So the element in the sub array. Acha. Ab baat ye hai ki ham yahan pe humko ye uh, heap create karna hai. Jaise ye list thi hamare paas. To ye list ko humne kya kiya? डायरेक्टली हमने ट्री क्रिएट कर दिया लाइक इनिशियली फोर देन वन आया इसके लेफ्ट में थ्री आया इसके राइट में देन टू आया इसके लेफ्ट में सिक्सटीन वन के राइट में फिर आया है नाइन नाइन थ्री के लेफ्ट में टेन थ्री के राइट में फोर्टीन टू के लेफ्ट में एट टू के राइट में और सेवन सिक्सटीन के लेफ्ट में तो दिस इज दिस एनर वी कैन सिंपली क्रिएट कम्प्लीट माइनॉरिटी लाइक दिस अब क्या करना है अब हमको इसमें प्रॉपर्टी रिस्टोर करने की ऑब्वियस ही बात है नोट्स किस ऑर्डर में थे किस आ, किस ऑर्डर में सॉरी किस तरह से इनकी वैल्यू थी तो इट मे बी पॉसिबल लाइक एट सम प्लेसेस द ही प्रॉपर्टी विल बी वायलेटेड बट ही प्रॉपर्टी वायलेट कहाँ होगी इफ आई एम हैविंग अ नोट एंड इट इज हैविंग अ चाइल्ड और टू चाइल्ड देन द ही प्रॉपर्टी मे बी वायलेटेड मे बी वायलेटेड बिकॉज इसकी वैल्यू जो भी है वो इनसे चाइल्ड से कम हो सकती है बट इफ सपोज द इट इज हैविंग नो चाइल्ड तो प्रॉपर्टी वायलेशन हो गया नहीं यहाँ पे तो अब इसे के लिए हमको क्या करना है जैसे हमने ये कंप्लीट बायोमेट्री क्रिएट कर लिया नाउ वी जस्ट चैक वेयर इज द ही प्रॉपर्टी वायलेशन और जहाँ पे ही प्रॉपर्टी वायलेशन है देयर वी विल कॉल द मैक्स इपीफाई प्रोसीजर 
क्लियर अच्छा हमने थोड़ी देर पहले देखा था द एलिमेंट्स इन द सब एरे ए ऑफ फ्लोर एन बाई टू प्लस वन टू एन विल बी द लीव नोट दीज विल बी द लीव नोट ये लीव नोड होंगे तो इनके चाइल्ड नोड नहीं होंगे चाइल्ड नोड नहीं होंगे तो या प्रॉपर्टी वायलेशन नहीं होगा तो इट मीन्स प्रॉपर्टी वायलेशन हमें कहाँ तक चेक करना है वी नीड टू चेक द प्रॉपर्टी वायलेशन फ्रॉम ये एन बाई टू प्लस वन था तो कहाँ से एन बाई टू टू वन मीन्स फ्रॉम फाइव टू वन सो इन दिस एलगोरिथम वी आर जस्ट पासिंग दिस एर ए एन इक्वल लेंथ ऑफ ए इट इज क्लियर नाउ वी लर्न ए लू फ्रॉम I equal floor of n by 2 down to 1. यहाँ पे कहा से कहा तक चलेगा 5 to 1. और अब क्या करेंगे हर एक वैल्यू के लिए वी विल चेक द ही प्रॉपर्टी आदर इट इज री आदर इट इज सेटिस्फाइंग और नॉट तो जैसे इस एग्जाम्पल में देखें तो सपोज जैसे ए फाइव के लिए प्रॉपर्टी वायलेशन नहीं है बिकॉज सिक्सटीन इज ग्रेटर देन सेवन और वैन बी कम टू फोर देन ए टू तो यहाँ प्रॉपर्टी वायलेशन है इन दिस केस दिस मैक्स ए पी फाइव प्रोसीजर विल रीच टूर द प्रॉपर्टी इन दैट केस जस्ट सिंपली टू विल बी रिप्लेस बाय फोर्टीन ओके सो दिस इज द एलगोरिथम फॉर बिल्ड मैक्स ही इनिशियली वी आर जस्ट इट इज वी आर जस्ट कॉलिंग द मैक्स ए पी फाइव प्रोसीजर फ्रॉम आई इक्वल एंड बाई टू डाउन टू वन नाउ लेट टेक एन एग्जाम्पल फॉर दिस ओके तो इनिशियली इट विल एग्जीक्यूट फॉर आई इक्वल फाइव तो यहाँ पे कोई वायलेशन नहीं है प्रॉपर्टी का देन इट विल एग्जीक्यूट फॉर आई इक्वल फोर यहाँ प्रॉपर्टी वायलेशन है सो टू विल बी रिप्लेस विद फोर्टीन टू विल बी नाउ नेक्स्ट इट विल बी कॉल्ड फॉर ए थ्री यहाँ प्रॉपर्टी वायलेशन है थ्री विल बी रिप्लेस विद टेन तो थ्री इज रिप्लेस विद टेन नाउ इट विल एग्जीक्यूट फॉर आई इक्वल टू तो यहाँ भी प्रॉपर्टी वायलेशन है तो वन फर्स्ट इट विल बी रिप्लेस बाय सिक्सटीन देन इट विल बी रिप्लेस बाय सेवन Okay, so one will be here, seven year, sixteen year, one seven sixteen. Now the property valuation will check at the root, that is a one. So four replaced by sixteen, replaced by fourteen, replaced by eight. So four will come at this position like this. Okay, so hope it is clear to all. Like how we are just creating a max heap. So ये तो केवल max heap create करने का process है अभी. Okay, and uh, let's talk about the complexity analysis here. So This statement cost will be O of one. It will execute. It will execute for n by two times this statement. And for every value of i uh, from n by two to one, it will execute. Then its cost. I'm going to tell you what is the complexity log of n. So total, what will happen? N by two log of n. The O of n is clearly written because this will go here. This loop will go. This loop will go. This loop will go. O of n times. So basically, the value of the n. Uh, is n by 2 pal n by 2 has so we simply we can uh, discard this value so it will be executed up to n times so the cost of running time for this build hap, uh, build maxi procedure is o of n log n okay but uh, this is not an asymptotically tight upper bound anybody of you can tell me what is the meaning of asymptotically tight upper bound kya matlab hai is cheez ka What is the loose upper bound? What is the tight upper bound? This is not the tight upper bound. And what is the meaning? I have asked the same question in the quiz. In the quiz one, so I have asked the same question in the quiz one. So let me clear it on the last time. Suppose we are having a function f of n. So its upper bound can be o of n. Its upper bound can be o of n square its upper bound can be o of o n q o of n 2 raised to power n sorry 2 raised to power n so this can be the upper bound for this particular function but this can be the upper bound but it is not tight this is this one will be the tight upper bound means we can say the exact value kya hogi uski roughly we can say like this this is the upper bound yes it is true upper bound can be any higher value lower bound can be any lower value but tight ki baat kar rahe hain yahan pe then it will be the exact one jo bilkul exact humko uska run time requirement provide karega theek hai so it is not the asymptotically tight upper bound so for finding that just we will analyze it level by level that how many total number of comparisons will be there so basically hp5 procedure will take o of h time ye to clear hai log in time wo lega wahan pe so the cost of pp5 
on a node i is proportional to the length of the length uh, proportional to the height of the node in the tree again i'm repeating it the cost of pp5 on a node i this particular node ke liye hum execute karenge is proportional to the height of the node i in the tree means jaise iske liye hum uh, apply kar rahe hain usko to uh, it will be proportional to the height iske liye karenge to kam comparison honge yahan karenge to zyada comparison honge theek hai kaise this uh, column is just uh, we, uh, in this column we are just having the height of the tree so for this one height is 1 2 3 1 2 3 at this height is for this uh, node height will be 1 2 or 1 2 or 1 2 like this at this height is 1 only at this height is 0 okay so it is not 3 log n basically it is the height that is 3 and uh, uh, it will be log n for n number of nodes okay now if we are talking about the labels so we are coming from label 0 to label 3 so label 0 label 1 label 2 label 3 to ye kya hua label ho gaya high uh, distance from the root node in terms of the edges in the longest path so it this label is label 3 Level two, level one, level zero. So now it is a, if it is a binary tree, then the number of node will be at level will be two raised to power i. So at level zero, two raised to power zero. At level one, two raised to power one. Level two, two raised to power two. Level three, two raised to power three. Okay, so uh, the total number of nodes at the level i will be two raised to power i. And if we are talking about the height at level i. then that will be h minus i to jaise yahan reduce ho raha hai it is 3 minus 0 it is 2 minus 1 it is 1 minus uh, height of the heap rooted at level i it will be the total height minus level value so at this it will be 3 minus 0 at this level 3 minus 1 2 3 minus 2 1 3 minus 3 0 so hum kya karenge the we will uh, simply find out like total number of nodes kitne hain and i that is 2 raised to power i aur us level ki height kya hai and exact comparison kitne ho rahe hain basically wahan pe so height will be h i that is h minus i so we can replace these value and can do the summation it is for a single level and it is For level, uh, sorry, i equal zero to height h, that is log n. So i equal zero to h, two raised to power i, h minus i. Okay, and after solving this, we can get O of n. So you can see here, this can be a tight upper bound as compared to n log n. Okay, it is not the tight upper bound; it is the tight upper bound for this build max e procedure. Now this is the solution. Uh, this is the सॉल्यूशन फॉर दिस आप लोग देख लेना क्या इसमें इसकी वैल्यू निकल के आएंगे यहाँ पे ठीक है आई एम जस्ट लिविंग इट फॉर यू जस्ट सॉल्व इट एंड जस्ट फाइंड आउट हाउ दिस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी इज कैलकुलेटेड फॉर ओ ऑफ एन टू नाउ द हीप शॉर्ट प्रोसीजर दो वट इज द गोल इन द केस ऑफ हीप शॉर्ट प्रोसीजर इज शॉर्ट एंड अरे यूजिंग द हीप रिप्रेजेंटेशन आइडिया इज बिल्ड अ मैक्स हीप तो हम बिल्ड मैक्स हिप से हिप क्रिएट करेंगे नाउ जस्ट स्वैप द रूट दिस इज द रूट दैट इज द मैक्सिमम एलिमेंट इन द मैक्स हिप विद द लास्ट एलिमेंट इन द एरे ये हमारे पास है इसको यहाँ से हटाया और रिप्लेस किससे किया इससे टू विल कम हियर एंड हमारा जो एरे होगा जो हम सॉर्टेड एरे हम बना रहे हैं प्लेस दिस वैल्यू एट द लास्ट पोजिशन तो जो टू यहाँ आ जाएगा तो प्रॉपर्टी वायलेशन होगा प्रॉपर्टी वायलेशन होगा तो वी विल कॉल मैक्स इपी फाइव प्रोसीजर फॉर दैट okay so build a max heap from the array swap the root the maximum element with the last element in the array now discard this last node by decreasing the heap size again call max heapify on the new root before restoring the heap property and repeat this process until only one node remains so this process goes on till only single uh, single node will remain there okay so this is an example for this 74312 so jaise kya kiya 7 ko remove karenge 2 se replace kar denge max ep5 1a 1,4 jab ye yahan pe aa jayega 2 to max ep5 procedure apply karenge 
तो ये यहाँ पे एक दो स्टेप मिसिंग है मैं क्लियर कर देता हूँ जैसे ये यहाँ से हटेगा तो वी विल हैव दिस सिचुएशन टू फोर एंड वन एंड थ्री तो इसके लिए मैक सीपी फाइव कॉल होगा देन लार्जेस्ट ये होगा तो इट विल कम हियर इट विल कम हियर तो फोर टू वन थ्री नाउ अगेन इट विल बी डिलीटेड फ्रॉम हियर इट विल रिप्लेस बाय वन सो वी विल हैव वन टू एंड थ्री तो वन विल बी रिप्लेस बाय थ्री सो वी विल गेट थ्री टू एंड वन नाउ दिस विल बी रिप्लेस फ्रॉम हियर सो टू विल कम सो वन के वन विल कम हियर ऊपर कौन सा आएगा लास्ट नोड आएगा जो सबसे लास्ट में इंसर्ट हुआ था सो वन विल कम हियर टू विल कम हियर सो दिस बोथ विल बी स्वैप सो टू विल कम हियर वन विल कम हियर नाउ दिस विल बी डिलीटेड एंड रिप्लेस बाय वन सो एट द At at the end we will have uh, single node in the list. So उसके लिए हमारा algorithm वहीं stop हो जाएगा when we will have a single node because एक ही node होगा तो so that will be the largest one और उसको delete करेंगे और क्या करेंगे list में last position पर place करेंगे ठीक है so this situation for seven for three for uh, now for two now for one one is left over there so after that we will place that one in the beginning of the list. So this is the uh, sorting of the using the heap sort. Now let's talk about the uh, complexity analysis of the heap sort. So, देखो सबसे पहले तो heap create होगा. Heap create होने के बाद क्या करेंगे? For the length of uh, for i equal length of a down to two. Why it is down to two? Suppose it is n. n to two के execute होगा because जब एक ही node रह जाएगा तो उसके लिए नहीं चलेगा वो. तो किसलिए चलेगा? From n to two. ठीक है? ओके फॉर एन टू टू हम क्या कर रहे हैं डू एक्सचेंज ए ऑफ वन रूट नोड विद द ए ऑफ आई सबसे लास्ट नोड नोड से इसको हम रिप्लेस कर रहे हैं ठीक है और जब रिप्लेस कर देंगे देन व्हाट वी विल डू विल कॉल द मैक्स ईपीफाई प्रोसीजर किसके लिए कॉल करेंगे रूट नोड के लिए कॉल करेंगे और द साइज ऑफ द ही विल बी रिड्यूज इनिशियली द साइज ऑफ द ही विल बी सपोज जैसे ये यहाँ चला आई इक्वल नाइन है तो जब इनको स्वैपिंग कर देंगे तो एक वैल्यू वहां से स्वैप होकर हटा देंगे रूट वाली तो वहां क्या हमारे पास आई इक्वल नाइन था तो क्या रह जाएगा एट तो जब आ, लास्ट एलिमेंट रूट पे आ जाएगा और रूट वाला हट जाएगा तो नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट विल बी रिड्यूज सो इट विल बी एग्जीक्यूटेड फॉर आई माइनस वन टाइम ठीक है नो लाइक टॉक अबाउट द कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी सो बिल्ड मैक्स हीप का हमने देख लिया था ओ ऑफ एन है ये चल रहा है एन टू टू टाइम मीन्स एन माइनस वन टाइम ओके दिस विल ऑल्सो एग्जीक्यूट एन माइनस वन टाइम it will execute for each value of i from n uh, to 2 log n time chalega the total kitne time chalega it will execute n minus 1 into log n so n minus 1 into log n or o of n the maximum will be n log n so this will be the running time for the heap sort procedure 